Hi there, this is Jennifer with Aroma Fields, and today I'm going to show you how I do a toe up uh, cabin sock, is what I like to call them. It's just a tube sock in super bulky yarn. I'm using Lion Brand Woolies Thick and Quick Yarn with a size 11 knitting needle. And I have 12 stitches on my needles, and I went ahead and I knit the first round. And I'm going to show you how I do my increases. You um, can do it. Uh, I would recommend actually doing a few different ways to see which way you like best. Um, my way, I like to knit this first stitch, and then I like to pick up the stitch here and knit into it. So I'm kind of creating two stitches out of that stitch below. So that's my increase. And there is a little bit of a gap, but it's not a very big gap. You could also do a yarn over or a knit front and back. So really up to you. And then we're gonna knit across until we have one stitch remaining. And then I pick up the stitch before the last stitch. So I have a left leaning and then a right leaning. And then I knit this last stitch. It just kind of helps hide the increase a little better. I don't know. I like the way it looks. And now we're going to do the same thing on the other side. So when your tail is on the left, that means you're knitting the second half of your round. So we're going to knit the first stitch. And we're going to go into this stitch because we want it to be a right lean to go out. And then we're going to knit to the last stitch. And we're going to pick up the one below and knit into it. And knit that last stitch. And I'll do it one more time so you guys can see it again. So we increased four stitches on that one round. So we're going to knit that first stitch. And then we're going to pick up this first stitch. And you don't really have to put it on the needle. You can just go into it and grab your yarn and pull through. And then we're going to knit to the last stitch. And then this last, we're going to pick up the one below. We're going to knit into it. And then knit that last stitch. And do the same thing for the second side. So we're going to pull that yarn through, except I don't want to I keep grabbing the other stitch. There we go. until the last stitch and then we're going to pick up the one below it and then knit that last stitch and then you're going to do that one more time so that you have 24 stitches um, I believe on your needle yeah 24 so you want to have 24 and if you want it to be a little wider you can um, i feel like i have kind of a wide foot so if you don't have if you have a narrow foot maybe you want to stop at 20 stitches and you just start stop there and i do recommend to go ahead and flip this wrong side out and sew the toe together and then flip it back and go ahead and finish knitting um, all the way up that way when you're finished you don't have to turn it because then whenever you have this long tube you don't have to turn it wrong side out to sew up your your seam there so not perfect but um cute and i don't know i like it and i think it's really easy to just do a toe up a cabin sock i'm i'm still scared to do a heel y'all i just I don't even know if it's that I'm afraid. It's just, I have not really any interest in, in counting on the stitches and the flipping back and forth. And yeah, it's a lot to keep track of. And I just like simple patterns. So 
I keep it simple. So I hope you guys enjoy this uh, tube sock and the toe up. And I did another uh, pattern where it's uh, top down so you can close the toe at the end. So um, either way you want to do it, I have two videos. So I hope you guys enjoy these tube socks and I will see you guys next time. Thank you so much for watching.